All right, hi again. Continuing with the moon series, we're going into Leo moon in the fifth house. Ooh, fun. Um, okay, so they are super outgoing. Um, anywhere where Leo is in the chart, you're going to notice that part of the person. It wants to be noticed and it wants to be heard. They are super easy to get to know, in my opinion, on an emotional level. They are like an open book because they are ready to talk about themselves. If you're on a date with a Leo moon, you will definitely notice. But not. it's not too bad that they like to talk about themselves because it makes you feel comfortable. They do it in a way where it makes you feel comfortable. And it also gets you talking as well. Um, they take pride in whatever they're doing project-wise within their life that they're emotionally, you know, put their heart into, like if they're creative, which most of the time I do find that Leo Moons can be creative, you know, it's ruled by the fifth house of creativity and children. Um, so yeah, you know, if they're in the arts or music or something, you know, they will be emotionally obsessed with that. Um, they will spend every waking moment doing it because they love it and they will also spend a lot of time talking to you about it especially if you're dating one or it's your son or something you know they're gonna know about it like uh you know i know one person has a leo moon and he's a musician and he would literally watch like his videos of himself over and over and over again and like he was a really good musician i could understand why but i was kind of like in my head i'm like this is a bit full on like this person really likes watching themselves and watching people praise them like they love being loved they love being noticed and loved and because it's on an emotional level i feel it's more so than the sun sign which you'd think it's kind of like the ego comes into the emotions with the leo moon um but their self-confidence i mean you just can't beat it they they really do depending on how it's aspected again depending on everything else in the chart but um, especially if you have moon in Leo and moon in the fifth house, like self-confidence is just like, woo, it's like up here. They, they literally, they kind of love themselves, sometimes a little bit too much. Um, but, you know, they can be very fair as well. And they will, you know, if they, if they do something wrong, they will want to justify it. And they'll try and do that in the most honorable way they can. Leo moons can be extremely honorable and extremely proud. You know, it's the lion. Um, here they're raw, like, right? Um, but they can be super drama queens and, like, super divas. And just, like, it can just get a little bit, like, come on, man. You know, it can get a little bit ridiculous. Um, they can be a little bit controlling. But this is because they're a fixed sign and it's really hard to like change any fixed sign's mind. They want things the way they want things. And if things aren't going the way that they want, a Leo is just going to like kick up a huge storm about it until they like get their way. Saying sorry is not really like a Leo Moon thing. They might say sorry like six months later when they look back at it and they go, Ooh, that wasn't a very good moment of mine. I'm a bit embarrassed about that. But it's kind of, they mean the sorry, but it's also for their own sort of self-gratification sometimes um but the best thing about a leo moon is the fact that they are just so easygoing super friendly and so fun to be around like they're ready to talk and if if they're they're so creatively minded as well even if they're not a very creative person the way that they'll go about something in their life will be kind of creative especially if they put their heart into it again because we're only talking about the moon here and we are talking from an emotional level. Um, temper can flare a little bit with a Leo. I mean, it's a fire sign. Any sort of fire sign has a bit of a, a fiery kind of temper to it. Um, but they are super, super, super passionate. And their will and their drive to, like, achieve is, like, off the scale. You know, and they're fixed as well. So it's just like, I'm doing this and I'm going to do this until like the day I die. And I don't even care who else tells me no. I mean, that is the quality that we don't all have. And, it, you know, they don't care. They're going to do it no matter what anyone else thinks. Um, and I think that that is a very beautiful, strong quality to have. I feel like they're genuinely quite happy people as well. Um, you know, Leo Moons, you know, they really love to have fun they have a lot of energy and they, they love to have fun and emotionally fun is like a big part 
of their emotional makeup. Um, they are literally gonna sit at home and watch like the funniest, like little cartoon TV show they can find, and they'll just they'll they'll think it's hilarious, and their laugh is just funny as well. You know, um, the way that they you know privately entertain themselves is usually in the form of like some kind of fun, lazy, you know, like a lion rolling around in the dirt. It's it's like or like a cat. You know, they're just, they're really funny. Um, but they're not afraid to bite, you know? That's that's what a Leo moon is. And um, <laughs> you can't, can't really beat them. <laughs> you can't really beat them. They're going to win that competition, you know? Um, but it's because they have the passion and the drive to do it, you know? A Leo moon will really struggle to concentrate on something if they're not passionate about it. They've really got to genuinely love it. So you find a lot of Leo moons you know, they're in a career that they really don't like, it's going to show, and I don't really think they'll last long, unless, like, the money they're getting for that is supporting whatever else they're doing on the side, they've really got to be 100% passionate about what they're doing, um, but I really do think Larry Moons are good, because they're super happy, they're really, really good at cheering people up, you know, like, come on, get up, let's, like, let's go do this, like, it's fine, you know, like, if you're, like, a little sad little a Scorpio moon and you've locked yourself in your room like you know they might be able to like kind of rip you out of that and just be like come on let's, let's go do this and um, they're, they're really really good for that um, I think they're genuinely happy people and when they get sad they kind of they'll kind of just chuck a temper tantrum but they'll get over it pretty quickly um, but if you do piss the Leo off I mean you're gonna hear about it like they're gonna like hear hear the lion roar. You really, really will. They they will ruin you. Like it's just like no, especially if you've belittled them or anything. We've made them feel like they're lesser than what they think they are or what they are. You know you're gonna you, you're gonna pay for it. <laughs> That's just the Leo moon, and they will probably win because they're gonna go out of their way with their will and their drive to win. Um, it can be a bad quality and a good quality. You know every moon sign has them. Um, but they're super proud, you know, like if they've accomplished something, they are very, very proud of that. And they've usually worked really, 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 really hard to get it. Um, a Leo moon is, is definitely not a bad moon sign to have, you know, especially emotionally. You are well equipped to deal with whatever comes your way, I think. I mean, you may kick up a stink like a small child sometimes, but like you are well equipped to, to deal with your own emotions and I think they deal with them in a very proud way. Sometimes too proud, which is, I think is personally their only downfall. But yeah, you know, especially if it's in the fifth house though, you must be like totally creative. I'd be so surprised if you're not. Um, and I think that's why they're also great with kids and like pets and stuff, like, cause they, they have so much energy. Like they're ready to run around with that child and like play with them and make them feel really good. Um, you know, if they're close to you, they're really good at making you feel good, like, super quick. They're going to take your mind off that emotion that you're having, and they're just going to be like, let's go have some fun. Let's let's go, like, do makeup or something. Like, I'll do your makeup for you. Like, you know, and like, oh, let's go, like, shopping. You know, it, they they love to have fun. They love to get creative. And this is on an emotional level, too. I really don't see them get down too much. Um, unless they're, like, you know, having their two hours of kicking and screaming. But it is the time it's just stupid and I feel like they usually get over it pretty quickly and they're not like the kind of moon that, oh, I can't get out of bed today, I'm so sad. Like, you know, that re they're really not like that in my, in my personal opinion, depending on how everything's aspected again. Um, but, you know, the fifth house can oppose, it, it's, you know, it's about love and romance too. So they are huge for their romantic gestures and they can kind of make you fall in love with them and they're very emotionally aware of people's romantic feelings and they're very emotionally aware of how to make you fall in love with them. Um, they're very, very good at that, especially if it's in the fifth. Um, cause they know how they'd want to be romanticized and they know how they'd want to be treated. So they are all about the flashy dates, you know, like I'm going to wine and dine you, you know, if this person is into you, they're going to wine and dine you and they've got a Leo and Moon that, that they love that. Um, Sometimes I think they, you know, can maybe focus a little bit too much on, on romance and creativity and 
kind of almost themselves a little too much. You know, it opposes the 11th house if it's in the 5th, which is, you know, of the collective, of community. You know, it's ruled by Uranus opposing. So it's, it's a people as a whole and not just one person. So I think sometimes they need to look to that and kind of maybe focus on, you know, the group as a whole. Um, rather than just me in the group and what I look like in the group or, or something, just for an example. But, you know, other than that, I think Leo moons are really, really awesome to be around. They, they are great. And they will woo you. And um, they're easily wooed. They might have very, like, a lot of, like, love infatuations and, like, love at first sight situations as well. Um... But at the time, like, because they're fixed, they really, like, you know, they've they got to get it. They've got to go and get it. Um, not like in Aries where they just jump in straight away. Like, they're going to think about this. They're going to figure out how they're going to, like, make this grow into something. Um, you know, they really, they they take their time to, like, work hard and progress. But they are a fire sign, so they're still a little bit jump straight in head first. But not as much as, not as much as Aries, I don't think. Um, but, all in all, I think... Those are great. I love how outgoing they are. I think um, if anyone's going to be emotionally approachable and emotionally easy to open up, it's a Leo moon. And I think a lot of us other moon signs out there should take note of um, that quality because a lot of us do struggle to trust and open up and all of these things. Um, but a general Leo moon in the fifth house is going to be like an open book of fun. Uh, I think that's great. Thanks.